knowledge is after every action, give reinforcement. But understanding is give the reinforcement after the action. Am I making sense to you? So many people in the issues of life have knowledge of fasting, but they don't understand fasting. They have knowledge of fasting, but they don't understand what fasting is. Can I say this to you? Not watching TV for a month. Not pressing your phone for two weeks. Deleting Instagram and social media for four weeks are good actions. They are great decisions. They are never fasting. Deciding not to eat carbohydrate. Deciding not to take Coke or any carbonated drink. They are great decisions for good health. They are not fasting. When it is fasting, it has to do with spiritual. If, you see, you can be dieting and not be fasting. When it comes to fasting, there must be spiritual element. There are many people who are just dieting. They are losing weight. In fasting, you gain weight. But the question is, what weight? So we gain spiritual weight in fasting even though we lose physical weight. Are you with me? Hear me. You can be so hungry that you need to be fed and the food is fasting. You can be so hungry that you need to be fed. And the only food that can satisfy your hunger is fasting. So sometimes you are not eating, yet you are eating. But the question is, what are you eating? In fasting, we eat, but we don't eat food. There is no place in the scripture that fasting exists without talking about not eating. Fasting means abstaining from food which causes the first fall of man. Adam and Eve fell because of food. When Eve saw the fruit that was desirable to eat, that was the beginning of our problem. You can't, it is not fasting if food is not involved. Don't forget what I say today in your life that you can decide not to watch television. You can decide not to be on social media. What are they? Great decisions. They are not equal to fasting. If it is fasting, food must be involved. Somebody say, I'm doing social media fasting, social media discipline. But you can be fasting and do away with those things. Right? But if that is the only thing you are doing, you are not fasting. I'm going to teach this subject of fasting for a while. Two, three weeks. But follow the journey. Faith needs prayer for its development and full growth. Prayer needs fasting for his development and full growth. Wait, did you hear what I said? Faith needs prayer for his development and full growth. Prayer needs fasting for his development and full growth. So, if we come back to the subject of faith, what does faith need? I can't hear you. I said faith needs prayer for his development. Prayer needs fasting. So, faith needs what? It needs prayer. Inside prayer. Prayer needs what? Fasting. Meaning, you can't truly really build faith genuinely until fasting is added to prayers. Oh, Jesus. The Greek word.
God for fasting. He's next you. Next you. I will spell it for you, but you are not a Greek person. You don't need to. N-E-S-T-E-U-O. Nesio. It's pronounced Nesio in Greek. Nes. N-A-C-E. T-Y-O-O-O. That's the pronunciation in Greek. But that's the spelling. Nesio. What does it mean? It means to abstain from food. Abstain from food. Fasting in Hebrew. It means swan. The word is som. What is som? S T T S O W N. T S O W N is pronounced as som. Som. It means cover your mouth. In the Hebrew, it means cover your mouth. In the Greek, it means abstain from food. So any other thing you do that doesn't involve you abstaining from food is not fasting. It's a good decision. So, as a church, as a movement, we are doing 200 days. In our CCG, we are doing 50 days. That 50 days is not abstaining from social media. That 50 days is abstaining from food. Now, when I abstain from food, I may also shut down other things so I can focus on prayer. Are you with me? But if that is all I do, I am not fasting. I'm only doing exercise. You can as well decide to lose weight. Whenever fast is mentioned in the scripture, it is accompanied with spiritual issues. It is restricting food for a spiritual purpose. Fasting is restricting food for a spiritual purpose. Fasting is restricting food for a spiritual purpose. You may follow the eating plan with diligence and experience with many great health benefits. You may follow eating plan with great deal of diligence, with many benefits, but if you have not included spiritual components, it is not fasting, it is dieting. You may follow eating plans with diligence, but if you have not added spiritual components, what is it? It is dieting, not fasting. You know, you know keto. Uh, which one again do you people do? Eh? Eh, after keto, eh, kebab, eh, all those things, they are not fasting. They are dieting plans. If the motivation for fast is to have a nice shape, you have missed the bubbles. As much as fasting can help big tummy to become flat, but the purpose of fasting is not to flatten your tummy. The purpose of fasting is to flatten your flesh. You can have big tummy and be dead to flesh. I'm not encouraging big tummy. But you can be slim and be alive to flesh. Praise God. It is not in your stature. It is in the stature you are built in the spirit. Show me Matthew 17. Matthew 17, 14 to 21. Matthew 17, 14 to 21. And when they, when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, next verse, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and so vexed, for often times he falleth into the fire, and often times into the water. Next verse. And I brought him to the disciples and they could not do what? They brought him to the disciples. They couldn't do anything. Next verse. And Jesus answered and said. What did he say? Notice the answer of Jesus. What did he say? Oh faithless and perverse generation. How long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him to me. You people are faithless. Bring him to me. I am faithful. If you are faithless, I am faithful. They were faithless. He is faithful. 
And Jesus rebuked the devil. Pray in tongues one minute. Male croso branda la basha tabalande broso zobelia doja. Male ingreso tame. May you see what I want to show you. Ah. May you see it. May you see it. May you see it. May you see it. In Jesus, then we are praying. And Jesus rebuked the devil. And he departed of him. Wait. How many disciples did Jesus have? Twelve. Could not cast out the demon. What was Jesus' diagnosis of their problem? What was Jesus' diagnosis of their problem? He said they are faithless. He said bring him to me. Meaning what twelve men cannot do. I can do. So when he rebuked the devil, the child was cured from that very hour. Next verse. Verse 19. Everybody, let's see together. I love the disciples. They are very smart. What they say? They came to disciples. Then came disciples to Jesus apart and said, why is it that we cannot do what you did? What was his response? Next verse. Everybody, let's see. And Jesus said to them, because... What was the first diagnosis? Faithless. What was the second diagnosis? Unbelief. Meaning, it is not anointing problem. Mm. The problem is not Levu's problem. It's not that Jesus has entered deeper realms. Are you with me? The problem is not an anointing problem. The problem is not a Levu's problem. The problem is not a man to or tie to problem. What was the problem? Unbelief. Faith. Then what did he answer? Let's see. For verily, verily, I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall be removed, and nothing shall be impossible to you. Next verse. What did he say? How be it? This kind. This kind of what? No, this kind of what? This kind of unbelief. Meaning fasting is a cure for unbelief. Fasting is not for God. Fasting is for me. When I fast, I'm able to receive the ability of God. My faithless become faithful. As I begin to fast, my faithlessness moves to faithfulness. The issue is that you are faithless. You have unbelief. But this kind of diagnosis cannot move. Why can't we cast him out? You are faithless. Why can't we cast him out? You, are, you have unbelief. But if you have faith... Can you see what he was saying? You see the discussion. But if you have faith as small as mustard seed, you know he didn't say you are faith small, you are faithless. He didn't say they were faith small. He said what? They were faithless. Go see. No faith. How many of you remembered Precious in Wyoming? You remember Precious? Do you know what happened there? That was not the anointing, that was faith. As that, he brought that girl. What did I say initially? I said, take her to the medical stand. Don't disgrace me. And I heard you are a coward. I said, bring her here. I've come to a resolve that if you mess up here, no, if I can't share your glory, I can't share your shame. That's the resolve. Since I'm not the medical worker, if I can't share your glory, I can't share the shame. I'll just, hallelujah, the Lord will do it. Let's move on, let's move on. And I will be fine because I don't have anything to prove. Are you with me? I'm not the one doing it. But what happened there was that I discovered that I am faithful. I discovered that suddenly it's like they pump faith into me. I knew it would happen. How many of you followed me to the crusade? They brought a lame boy, baby to the front. Who remember that crusade? You were there. We were doing crusade, we were in crusade ground and a woman ran and brought a lame baby to the front of the crusade ground. And I said, she will walk now. She has never walked. I took the baby, lifted her up and she began to run. 
Not because I was anointed, because I was faithful. If your faith says yes, God cannot say no. The reason why many of you are not operating supernatural is that you don't have faith or you don't have time to wait. He said that you don't have faith or you don't have time to stay and say, Lord, I will not live until you answer. He said that it too. He said that your faith is small or you say, Lord, I have something I have to do. He said this kind cannot move except you are fasting to prayers. I know you have been traveling. When you are fasting to eat, your faith rise. Why? Why? Is fasting faith pump? No. What it means is that when I fast, I'm dead to myself. I can receive the ability of God. Faith is the ability of God that can allow me to produce what God can do. Faith is God's ability that empowers me to operate in the class of God, even though I'm not God. What God will do if you were to be here is what I will do with faith. Are you following me? So when I begin to fast, I die to the things that can limit the ability of God. Oh, Jesus. I, that's when you speak, it comes to pass. Why? Because every iota of flesh in you that can limit the oppressions of the spirit are dead. So, the, the ability, see, the ability of God is poured into us, but is contending with too much flesh. Oh, are you with me? Too much flesh, too much flesh. So, the ability of God is oh, I wish I can get a glass cup. Can I, do you have a glass cup in church? Do you have? And water. And let me get sand. Anybody bought water in church? Just let me get some sand. You know, this is your life. Ability of God is poured. This is who God is. This is what God can do. Who is getting the sand for me? Sand. This is what God can do. The ability of God is in you. So, initially... You look exactly like God. If God faces any challenge, He will dissolve it. If God faces any limitation, it will melt it. It will melt it. The ability of God can get anything done. But do you know why the ability of God is not at work in you at the maximum level? Now, let me say this to you Holy Ghost doesn't grow bigger. Anytime it comes, it comes full. You are the one that grows lesser. That's why John says, I decrease that it might decrease. God doesn't grow bigger on your inside. He came big. Mm. When he comes, he doesn't come as a baby and now begin to grow. He comes in his full capacity. But you are the one that is too old, too heavy in flesh. The more you die, the more we see him. What is the difference between me and Pastor E. Adeboye? My father and the Lord. Do you know the difference? He has yielded more to God than I have yielded. So the day I yield it to his level, I will see the result he's seeing. All of us receive. He is the only ghost in Jesus that is at work in Peter. He is the only ghost in Peter that is at work in my life. So what Peter saw, I can see. What Daddy Gio saw, I can see. What Babalola saw, I can see. What Oedipo saw, I can see. The reason why I'm not seeing is that some of them, they are already dead. Some of us are still alive. So the dead that... You get it, grandma? You get it? The deader we become, the bigger the Holy Ghost. Yeah, bring it. Yes, thank you. So this is, this is flesh. Can I get those bottles water? Bring this one. This is supposed, a, a man that is already dead to the Holy Spirit, that's already dead to flesh. When you put the ability of God, it's very plain. Is dead to flesh. The ability of God is not limited. Oh. Even if it comes small, it's the ability of God. But it doesn't even come small. A drop is a river. That's why I said it's as small as mustard seed. It doesn't need to be too many. Small as mustard seed. 
they took part of the spirit on Moses. Placed it upon 70. That means Moses was 70 in one. And Moses didn't know. You don't know what you are carrying. Until God decides to spread what you have. You don't have an idea what you are carrying. Until God decides to say, let me take from you and give to this person. So God took from Moses. But Moses didn't reduce. God took out of Moses and gave to 70. Yet Moses didn't come down. Then there were two who didn't come for that meeting. They were at home. The team went to meet them at home. They were prophesying at home. They didn't come for the service. Joshua said, can we stop them? He said, you can't stop them. You can't stop them. Yet Moses didn't reduce. The ability of God doesn't come small. It comes big. So when it comes upon the plain vessel, it's very clear. It will show that you have it. But do you know why it's not, it's not manifesting? Flesh. Can I get, let me pop out of this thing out. Flesh. Flesh. You are too alive. Too alive. Too alive. No, it's okay. So, you are, you are already dead to fornication. But you are just alive to envy. Then, maybe after a sermon, you, you died to envy. But you are still alive, alive to exaggeration. No, so, but you are, after another service, you are, are dead to exaggeration. But you are still alive to bitterness. Bitter. You just it, when you see God promoting people, you just get angry. You just bitter. You, after a service, you change. But you are still alive to inconsistency and all manner of, of lust in your heart. So okay. So you are you are dead. You are dead. You are dead. But it's now remaining small, small, small. Just one small, 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 small. So this is it. Small. You are still alive to this one. If they put this pure water inside you, you will still be brown. No, you know it's not heavy. It's small, small, small. Why should I fast? It will drain this black thing and make me white. So that the ability of God will be visible. It's just one tiny flesh, oh. but yet it's still like tea. So, begin to pour it. So, but when you are too, you are too alive. Yes. Too alive. Too alive. You become like, leave it. The ability is there, but it's not even visible. You are too alive. Too alive to flesh. The ability is there, but we can't see it. Uh -uh. What is this? Can you see the difference? So, if you... If you pray and I lay hands on you and I pour more of God, no matter the pouring, you say, oh, why am I? Why am I? Oh, ke, pe, 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 pe. and I pour more of God. I keep pouring. It's still a tea. But what is fasting? We will drain you of flesh so that God can be seen. Can I ask you a question? Who is fasting for? God or me? When I say fasting, flattening your flesh, it's not a rhyme. It's revelation. The purple, he said, you guys are too alive to flesh. Die. Fasting kills. So how do I know, pastor? Prove it to me from the scripture. I'll prove it to you. Matthew 9. Matthew 9. Start from verse 14. Matthew 9. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Matthew 9 from verse 14. Everybody, look at the scripture. Let's say, want to go. Then came the disciples of John, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples does not fast? What were they talking about? Fasting, right? Answer me now. They were talking about fasting. Why are we fasting? Disciples of John, Pharisees fast. Your own disciples, they don't fast. See his answer. Next verse. He said, Jesus said to them, Can the children of the bride chamber mourn? As long as the bride chamber is with them, but this, but the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them. In those days, they shall fast. Meaning, I'm still with them. They don't need to fast. I have fasted. They are fast. But the day I go to heaven, so what days are we? What days are we? What days are we? I can't hear you. If you don't fast these days, there's nothing. 
He said, when I'm taken, they will fast. So has he been taken? So what days are we? We are in the fasting days. Follow me. What's the next answer? Wait, what were they talking about? Eh? See the next thing. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles. What is fasting and new bottles and new wine? Else, the bottle will break and the wine run it out. But, and the bottles perish, but they put new wine into new bottles and both are preserved. So they were talking about fasting. They got to new wine and new bottles. He didn't say there was an issue with the new wine. He said there was an issue with the bottle. So if we change the bottle, the wine will stay. Meaning fasting changes my garment. Mm. They were talking about fasting. He led them to new bottles. New wines came. He's the one supplying the new wine. The new wine doesn't have issues coming. But the issue is where we are putting the new wine can break. He didn't say if we put the new wine inside a weak vessel. The wine will be corrupted. No, he said the vessel will break. So we will just waste our wine. And everyone is not interested in wasting the wine. Everyone is not interested. They would rather put it on the person that is already a correct person. Rather than put it on someone that will make them waste it. Because the anointing will kill you. Anointing will lead to annoyance. So, but, 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 but. He said, there needs to be a new wine skin. So, fasting to new wine skin, meaning when I begin to fast, my garment is changed to a garment that can receive the new wine. My wine skin is changed to a wine skin that can receive the new wine. So, meaning fasting is changing of vessels. So, as I'm fasting, what am I doing? I'm applying for a new vessel. Oh, Jesus. You, you are not bribing God with fasting. You are helping yourself. Fasting is for you. Say, so fasting is for me. Say fasting is for me. So, why are we doing 200 days? I need a sparkling vessel that can carry a sparkling anointing. <clears throat> when I begin to travel in fasting, I am saying, change this garment. Change this garment. Change this garment. Change this garment. What, what the reason for fasting is that this fasting can kill this one so that the ability of God can gain expression. You know, that's why even Abalist, they understand it. They said, meaning there is a power when I've not eaten something. Even if the occult understand how much more spiritual people. I've not tasted palm oil. I've not tasted salt. My wife, she's a doctor. I have Dr. Prudence and uh, I don't know if Dr. Dairo is in church. I ask them. There is a call, there's a test called fasting test. When you want to take some, your vitals, I mean, no. Eh? Fla fasting blood sugar, yeah. Fasting lipid. Uh, you know the meaning. I don't. They will say, don't eat when you are coming to the hospital tomorrow for this test. Meaning there are things the hospital will not get if you have eaten. The eating will corrupt your bloodstream. So come without food. So that when we take your blood sample, it's clean. If medicine understands fasting, how much more spirit? So when they are begging you to fast, they are helping you. You are the one doing yourself with too much love for rice. No wonder you don't rice. <laughs> Say in 2024, I will fast. Say in 2024, I will fast. Fasting. Woo. Fasting is sweet, oh. So let me explain. So, why should I do long fasting? The longer the fast, the deader. Mm -mm -mm. You get it? That grammar is envoy's grammar. Okay? It's a spiritual grammar. Let, so, you get it? You can't find it in any dictionary except the envoy's dictionary. So the longer the fast, 
He deadened the flesh. But do you know the challenge of flesh? It can wake up in one day. And become a giant. How? The man called Adam grew up in one day, married the second day. They created him yesterday. Tomorrow they bring woman. Say there's no help for Adam. And they brought woman. This is the bone of my bone. So he didn't grow. He only go. That's why God doesn't like to throw people up. He likes to lift people. Up. Adam didn't grow. He woke up today. The next day they gave him wife. That's why when Jesus was coming, second Adam, he said, I will grow. So he started as a zygote. Embryogenesis happened. Process. Development. Formation. First trimester. Second trimester. Third trimester. They pushed him out. Zero to one. One to two. Two to three. Growing. And the child grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with men and with God. So Jesus grew in favor. He didn't move as favor. Why? The first Adam didn't grow, so he came down quickly. If you will not come down quickly, grow. Don't jump up, grow up. Don't jump up, sir. Allow God to lift you step by step, process by process, from one level to the other. Many of you want to blow. The Lord spoke to me some years ago, Daniel, what do you want? Do you want to blow or I should blow into you? I said, Daddy, explain. He said, you know, when you pick a balloon and it's already big, it will begin to deflate with time. How many of you have gone to bed parties and you see balloon hanged? What happened after like two days? Without anybody touching it, it's coming down. But what if I make you a raw balloon? <sighs> that <sighs> can be 10 years. <sighs> Under 10 years. <sighs> Under 10 years. I say, God, blow into me. When I blow into, when you blow into me, I will last. When I blow, I will come down. The first Adam didn't grow. That's why when Eve came, I said, this tree is pleasant. Can we eat? He said, okay, yes, let's eat. There was not, if, if he grew, we would have understood process. Say, no, no, no. So the second Adam did not repeat the mistake. So let me give you one revelation. You know, after Adam and Eve were naked, what did they do? They saw fig leaves in the garden. They used to cover their body. So they moved from God consciousness to self-consciousness, we are naked. Then they move from self-consciousness to live consciousness. They use live to cover their body. Fig leaves to cover their body. Then one day, second Adam came. He was now walking on the street. He was hungry. He now saw a fig tree having leaves, no fruit. He now remembered eh, what you did to first Adam, you want to do to me. Leaves, no fruit. So I will now have leaf consciousness. Dry up. The Bible says it was not a season. It was revenging for Adam. So you, 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 you. Say so this year, I will fast. Say in 2024, I will fast. Fasting is for you. Whew. Let me try and close. I will continue next week Sunday. Are you blessed already? Yeah. If you are blessed, shout yes! yes! Fasting is very critical. There is power in fasting. 
There is power in fasting. What should I do in the season of... Now, see, let me say this to you. Fasting is not negotiable. Fasting is a must. Matthew 6. Show me that scripture. <laughs> Matthew 6. Fasting is not negotiable. Fasting is not a maybe I should and I should not. From verse 16 to 18. Fasting is not that maybe I should fast or maybe I'm not fasting. No. Everybody, let's read. Mo read and shout it moreover. Wait, did he say if you fast? The issue is not if, the issue is when will you fast? So when you see when you fast, say one. Let's continue. Let's read. Be not as hypocrites of sad continents, for they disregard their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Very liberally, I say unto you that they have their reward. Verse 18, verse 17. But thou, when thou fastest, let me say, to anoint thy head and wash your face. Verse 18. Thou that appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father, which seeth in secret, and thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward openly. In 30 verses, he said it two times, when you fast, not if you fast. Meaning, fasting is a matter of when. Not a matter of if. It's a matter of what? When. When you fast. 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 It's a matter of when. Ask your neighbor, when will you fast? What's the response? Someone say, I'm fasting already. If you're not fasting, say, I will start tomorrow. If you're not fasting, shout hallelujah. When? I will fast. Okay, let me close on this. Are you blessed today? There are three kinds of fast that are found in the scripture. Three kinds of fast that I found in the scripture. Number one is called absolute fast or long fast or marathon fast. Absolute fast or long fast or marathon fast. Absolute fast or long fast or marathon fast. Exodus 34, 28. Exodus 34, 28. Marathon fast, absolute fast, or long fast. Everybody, let's read. And he was there with the Lord. How many days? 40 days and 40 nights. He did neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant and the Ten Commandments. How many days? He did not drink water. He didn't eat. First Kings nineteen eight. First Kings nineteen eight. First Kings nineteen eight. First Kings. Ever let's read. And he arose and did eat and drink, and went in the strength of that meat forty days and forty nights. The first one was Moses. Second person, Elijah. You notice there is these 40 days people, they are, they are 40 days gang. It is these two 40 days gang that came to Jesus, the 40 days man in the New Testament. You better join us in 40 days. So. <laughs> 40 days gang, Elijah, Moses, they met the 40 days guy, Jesus, on the motor of transfiguration. Okay. Show me one. Matthew chapter 4 from verse 1. Matthew verse four, chapter 4 verse 1. Matthew 4 verse 1. Marathon or long or... Matthew 4 verse 1. <laughs> Ever let's read. Then Jesus was led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Next verse. And he, when he had fasted, how many days? 40 days and 40 nights. He, afterwards he... He didn't say he was thirsty. Maybe he was drinking water. 
He said he was hungry. So there's no scripture. I'm just thinking. So what's my recommendation? My recommendation is that when you want to do 40 days, drink water. You know Elijah was in the presence of God. You can't be there and be hungry. Moses was with God alone. God was speaking to him. You can't be there and be thirsty and be hungry. God is the water of life. Are you with me? But when they got to Jesus, they didn't say, they said he was hungry. So, so when you are doing that kind of fast, please drink water. Our body needs water. You need hydration. Let me show you one more. Um, um, Ezra, Esther chapter 4 verse 16. Esther 4 16. Esther 4 16. Esther 4 16. Hey, well, let's read. Go gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan. And fast ye for me. Neither eat nor drink three days. Nor night or day. I will also and my maidens will fast likewise. And so will I go into the king, which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. If I perish, I perish. But those who want to perish, don't perish. Are you with me? Rather, they become preciously rich. They don't perish, but they become preciously rich. Are you here? But these three days long fasting, they didn't eat. I can, you can do three days without water and food. After three days, please drink water. Please, please, please. The maximum I can encourage you to do this one is three days. After three days, drink water. Number two kind of fasting is called normal fast. That's the one you break every day. Normal fast. That one you break. Like this one we're doing now, we're doing six to six, right? Six, right? Hallelujah. Six to six doesn't mean you will eat in the, by 5 a.m. Six to six doesn't mean you will eat by 4 a.m. Okay, on Jesari. So this fasting, you break every day. Nehemiah 9.1. Nehemiah 9.1. It's called normal fast. You break every day. Now, 6 o'clock. For example, our 200 days now, I have told you how we're going to do it. First 50 days, you break by 6. Second 50 days, you break by 4. Third 50 days, you break by 3. And the last 50 days, you break by 2. I've canceled the 1. First 50 days, six. Second 50 days, four. Third 50 days, three. The last 50 days, two. Hallelujah. Easy. Now, in the 24, 20 and 4th day of the month, the children of Israel were assembled with what? Fasting. One day, one day. They broke in the evening. On the 24th day of the month, they gather together to fast. No more fast. Daniel 9.3. Daniel 9.3. Daniel 9.3 to 25. Uh, okay. Leave that one. I will okay. Daniel 9.3 to 25. Let me see. Do I have time to go through the scripture? And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. Next verse, with fasting and I prayed unto the Lord. Just one day, it, if it's two days, we say we fasting. Fasting. Just there. To seek the Lord. And then the Lord came to him. The Lord answered his prayer. That's normal fast. Just one day or ten days or fifty days for your breaking every day. You are stopping it. You fast in the morning. You stop in the night. You continue again tomorrow. Hallelujah. Show me 
First Samuel 31, 13. First Samuel 31, 13. Normal fast. You start in the morning, you break in the evening. You, some people, they break in the afternoon. Some will be checking time by 11 o'clock. May God forgive you. Can you see this one? Ever let's read. And they took their bones and buried them under a tree at Jabesh and fasted how many days? Seven days. Seven days. They were just fasting. They were breaking in the evening. They were fasting. No more fast. The last type of fast I saw in the scripture is called Daniel fast. Daniel fast. The first man, there's a man in the New Testament that did this kind of fast. His name is called John the Baptist. He was eating only locust and white honey. In Daniel fast or partial fast, you feed on a particular kind of diet. Not pizza. An unpleasant diet. Unpleasant diet. Not shawarma. Say, for 40 days I've taken only shawarma. You are a thief. <laughs> Unpleasant. Show me Matthew 3, 4. Matthew 3, 4. John the Baptist, see what he did. Matthew 3, 4. And the same John had his raiment of camel hair and led him gather about his loins and his meat was what? Locust and white honey. When I went to Israel, they showed me white honey. White honey means date. You know date? That's white honey. That's the honey of the wild. Yes. So, he was eating locust. You know locust? Not, not locust bean. How many of you are from Ekiti? You know Esusu? Yeah. <laughs> so, he was, he was eating Esusu and dates. Daniel 10 3. Daniel 10 3. Daniel 10 3. Daniel fast. Daniel 10 3. See the meal of Daniel. Everybody, okay, start from verse 1. Let's start from verse 1. Let me close from verse 1. Daniel 10 1. In the third year of Cyrus, the king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Betesheza. And the thing was true, but the time appointed was long, and he understood the thing, and he and had understanding of the vision. Next verse, verse 2. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. How many days? 21 days. What was I doing that 21 days? I ate no pleasant bread. Neither came to, neither came meat and wine in my mouth. Neither did I anoint myself at all till the three whole weeks were fulfilled. For 21 days, I was fasting. What was I eating? Something that is not pleasant. No meat. No wine. It's not agege bread though. Bread means food in the Bible. Can I give you an idea of what he was eating? I got an idea as I was trying to search the scripture. I saw that when they brought them in Daniel chapter 1 from Babylon, they said give us pulse and water. When he said, I will not defile myself with the king's portion. You remember? He said, give us paws and water. Others were taking the king's wine and meat. He said, give us paws. What is paws? The inside of beans. Something, something that is... Midi, 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 midi. Give us paws and water. It's not a while going, you. <laughs> so, Daniel was taking and water. So now, he said, I had no pleasant. Meaning the food is even a ridicule to your body. Hey, show me the scripture. I had what? Can you give me another version? Give me another version. Let's check many versions for this one. Give me many versions for this verse 3. Are you learning something? Let's read. I ate only plain and simple food. No seasoning or meat or wine. I never baited nor shaved until three weeks were up. Next verse. Uh, next Another version. Hey, but let's read. I had no delicacies. No meat, no wine entered my mouth. 
nor did I anoint myself at all for three weeks. Next one, another version. Do you have amplified version? Then let me check TLB, the Living Bible. Do you have amplified version? Amplified anybody? Amplified version? I ate no pleasant or desirable food, nor did any meat or wine come into my mouth. I did not anoint myself for three weeks, for 21 days. So, then at that time, I tasted neither wine nor meat. Of course, I went without desserts. I neither washed nor shaved, nor combed my hair. Wait. For this third type of fasting, eh? No pleasant food. You remember, son? Unko je, unje aladu, unko je na, unko muati, unko si fi ororo para ni odi di ose meta na. So if you are going to do this in this fasting, you won't eat in kaladu. Eh? So, now, this kind of fasting, listen, this kind of fasting is what I do. This one. I do this 50 days, 40 days. No, I bath. So, how do I do it? Let me explain to you. How do I do it? When I start this fasting, the only thing I can take is fruit. Fruit. And that fruit is not throughout the day. It's in the evenings to get energy to pray. Throughout the day, I can take three fingers of banana. That is all. I can take two red apples. That is all. Or you carry the fruit and blend them. Turn them to smoothie. Now, now, some people will take five smoothies in one day. <laughs> they will take one jug of smoothie. Ah! Listen, 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 listen to me. When you are doing this fasting, it has to come with sacrifice. Are you with me? It has to come with what? Sacrifice. Anytime you are hungry, carry smoothie. Say we are, we are doing 40 days dry. You are a scammer. You only take it for energy to pray. When I'm doing that while I'm out 60 days, 50 days, that's what I do. I take water. I take, in my, the people in my house know the fruits you don't touch. And mind you, there are fruits you must not take because they are acidic. Orange, don't take. Watermelon is good. It has a lot of water. Watermelon. I take grape. You know that red grapes? Small, small grapes. That one I'm fine. That red grapes, one pack, I can eat it for one week. That red grape. Some people, they are fasting. They will finish one bottle of granite in two days. One bottle of granite. But there is no fruit, oh. But there is no fruit, oh. But there is no fruit, oh. Say she be bole, bole is advanced banana. <laughs> Hallelujah! Praise God. So, when you are doing this, when you are doing this, when you are doing this Daniel fast, it has to come with a lot of sacrifice. Are you with me? You don't eat it anytime you feel like eating. You eat it only when you need energy for the next day. That's why I tell you, you can, I, I, three fingers of banana, that's enough for, for one day, sometimes two. It must come with sacrifice. And guess what? I'm like that 40 days. I'm like that 50 days. I've done 50 days like that. I've done 40 days like that. I do 40 days every year like that. Those, don't clap. Those who are man fasting, I do 60 days. Most of the time, 30 days breaking in the evening, 30 days like this. 
as I enter, however. So when you see the anointing, it's not, I am already dead. Somebody message me, say, Pastor, I was looking at you, you know, where you're looking like an angel. It's not the white garment. It's staying before the Lord. Next week, I will teach you the things to do in fasting and the powers of fasting. I'll teach the powers of fasting. I will show you from Genesis to Revelation the powers of fasting. Upper week, I will show you everybody that fasted in the scripture. Everybody. Are you blessed today? So let me ask you a question. Which fasting are you doing now? Normal fast? How many of you are doing absolute? How many of you are doing Daniel your Lord are fast? The one that is Daniel your Lord is the one you 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 eat shawarma you <laughs> so do this do this do this fast and guess what remember you are not bribing God with fasting so if it is not sacrifice why not cuckoo eat if it is not the sacrifice then why not just eat why are you scamming yourself is it making sense to you now if it is not a sacrifice why not just do what eat so don't deceive yourself say you are fasting when you are not fasting you are feasting you not say you are fasting who are you scamming father we thank you for today we give you praise for this good word release grace upon us to fast we receive supernatural energy to fast we receive grace to fast. Fasting becomes our lifestyle. It becomes very easy for us. As we embark on these 50 to 200 days, we are strengthened. We are empowered. In Jesus' name we are praying. Now, I'm trying to work out a module for those 200 days, but I'm not sure I want to do it. I'm trying to work out a module. If you can do 21 days, absolute, you rest for 7 days. And that 21 days, you rest for 7 days. And that 21 days. Can you do that one? So let's continue our 200 days. If you are in support, say hi. The highs have it. Give God a shout of praise. You are here today, you want to say, Pastor, I need to be fast to God. Let me run fast to God now. So that my fasting in these 50 and 200 days can be acceptable. I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. Pastor, pray for me. Pray for me, please. I'm struggling with one sin or the other. I need to get connected to God right now. Wherever you are, lift up your right hand. I want to pray for you. I can't allow you to go today. Please, my sister, come. Yes, come. Yes, come. Yes, come, come, come. Come forward. You need to make it right with Jesus. Come forward. Come forward. Come. Come. Inside, outside, please come. Come, come, come. Come wherever you are. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Keep coming. Keep coming, my brother. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. Thank you. This is the first stage before your fasting can be accepted. Your fasting will not be accepted if you don't start like this. Hallelujah. 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 Say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I am sorry for my sins. I believe you died for me on the cross of Calvary. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Please come into my heart. Save my soul. Deliver me from the power of darkness. I will never go back to the world. I am saved and established forever. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Congratulations. 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 Please follow these people over there. I just need your name and you'll be back in two minutes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah.